Gaston in climbing is when you push instead of the common movement of pulling. Today I'm going to walk you through how to identify when you need to be doing a Gaston, how to actually do the Gaston, the easiest ways you can do that with your hand movements, your arm movements, your feet movements, that kind of thing, as well as I'm going to walk you through some common trainings that you can do to improve Gastons. The easiest way to recognize a Gaston in a route is to recognize the shape of the route and then see where the positive edge of the hold is. But with a Gaston, if the route's going to the left, the positive edge of the hold, which is where you can actually place your hands on, will also be going pointing towards the left. So if you find yourself where you have to put your fingertips closer to your face or your thumb is pointing towards your body, then that's probably a Gaston. Otherwise, if your thumb is pointing away from your body, then that's probably a pulling motion. So with that being the case, let's talk about different techniques and skills that you'll need to be able to make Gastons as easy as possible. There are two units to a Gaston. There's the hand and arm unit, and then there are your feet unit. And to showcase this, I'm actually using the lattice board because the gym was super busy and this was the only place that I felt like I could get some actual good footage for you. So if you don't have a lattice board, don't worry. This is just a means of showing you the best technique you can for doing a Gaston. When it comes to your hand and arms, ideally you're going to put your hand as close to your shoulder as possible. This is going to make it so it's a lot easier for you to engage your biceps and triceps. In comparison, if you have your hands really far away from you, up above, for example, then being able to hold your body in will require a lot more tension. It can be really difficult to do a Gaston if your feet are in front of your body. In fact, if your feet are in front of your body, this Gaston will likely turn into a pulling movement that is a lock off to the next move. In comparison, you can place your feet directly below your hands. So if your right hand is Gastoning, put your right foot directly below where your foothold is, and that will enable you to have the body position you need to keep your body close to that hold. So if you're having a hard time moving from the Gaston to the next hold, pay attention to your feet and test do you need your feet to be directly beneath you, slightly behind you, probably not, slightly in front of you, maybe in some situations. So now that you have a basic idea of what you need to be doing technique wise let's talk about ways that you can train for Gaston now because Gaston's are a little bit less common I'd recommend making up a Gaston taking holds from different routes trying out different movements I found a little red chip on this hold that I used to Gaston and that was a good way for me to test where my feet needed to be I have tried doing a Gaston on every single move and just testing out moving your body and that will give you a good idea of where you need to place your feet so when you are on those really hard climbs with a Gaston you already have an idea of what it should feel like. Off of the wall you can also do push-ups since this is a pushing motion push-ups can help with that. Now push-ups is heavily pectoral depending on where you're placing your hands so if you are already pretty good at push-ups consider some adjustments to the push-up maybe doing an around the world push-up or one where your hand is closer and out wider. There are a couple of different variations I am getting to the point where I can do decent push-ups, but variations of push-ups are still really hard for me, so those variations are a great workout for Gastons. Sometimes a Gaston can turn into a mantle where you will need to push your hand with your whole palm. And that technique is called palming, which is more common on slabs than any other kind of climb, but essentially, instead of having your fingers here, you're going to turn it where your palm is away from it and you're going to use that palm to push your body up. In comparison to pushing away with your elbow out, sometimes having your elbow in allows you to engage your core a little bit more, which is why some people prefer palming. But palming is a really difficult technique unless you're on a slab or the movement of the wall allows for it. So keep that in mind if you're still struggling with a Gaston, maybe try palming. 